I watched the movement in 1925, and we needed organization so bad. We didn't know it, but we did. There was confusion, churches torn up, everything going on. Say, well, you going to preach organization? Yeah, there's a little of it that we need. When the Lord said to Noah, build the ark, he didn't let Noah plan how long it would be, how high it would be, how wide it would be. He didn't let him put a door in it or a window in it. He told him how to do it. Everything. He gave him the blueprint. But they had to have a little organization to get it built. Right? Don't you think you did? God didn't cut the gopher wood down. He didn't haul it in. He didn't saw it up. He didn't nail it up. He just told him, here's the blueprint. And you got about 120 years go to work. And that's all organization is. Somebody's got to cut the timber. Somebody's got to nail it up. Somebody's got to put, put the pitch on the inside and the outside. God gave us a church. He gave us a blueprint. You don't add to it. And you don't take from it. It's built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. But to carry the gospel around the world. And to have old fashioned count meetings like this. There has to be a little organization and a whole lot around here. From the looks of it last night, there had to be a lot of organizing to get this together. Amen. So if anybody ever tells you, organization is building a church, they're lying to you. Honey, we ain't building nothing. That's built by Jesus Christ. We're just trying to get what he gave us to the highways and the hedges and across the world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's time to get together. It's time to pull. It's time to love one another. I've noticed in years gone by, several times God would have moved. But I was telling somebody a while ago, I have seen the Lord send men to town to take the town. Gifted men. But the devil knew it. And he got among the saints and run him off. And there's no church. Amen. Let me tell you something. When God sends his man, he may not always do it just like you want to do it. God has a plan for every city. God has a plan for every preacher. He has a plan for every saint. I have ministers calling me all the time. People tell me the will of God. This and that. I can't do that. I'm not going to try it. You find that on your knees. You, God is a jealous God. He don't want me telling you what to do all the time about things. He wants to work out a line of communication with you. Because there's a time coming T.W. Barnes won't be around. And that other preacher won't be around. But God will just be around. He ain't going nowhere. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Well, you know, ask me, how does God speak to you? Well, through the Word, first of all. And if you can't find it in there, you know, Bill Jones or somebody else, you might have to pray about that. Some individual. But you find it in the Word. The Word speaks to us. As the Holy Ghost moves upon you and you read the Bible, you know, find the subject in there and read it and let the Holy Ghost talk to you. Now, for me to try to tell you how God's going to talk to you, I can't. How about explaining to me right now how anybody talks in tongues? Can you tell me just the way it's going to be? If you've never spoken tongues, you don't know. But I'll tell you what, 
I know one second before I'm fixing to, and I, there's a word comes to me just like that. Now the interpretation, but I can't tell you how. You've got to get that on your knees. You've got to pray. You've got to fast. You've got to walk with God. And if God gives you a gift, then that gift will operate. That gift will move at the opportune time. The pastor's gift will work. All he needs is a house full of members, church members. And it'll work if he's been praying. If a man has gifts of healing, all he needs is a house full of sick folks. It'll work. God's just like that. That's the way God is. Has a house full of sinners, the evangelist's gift will work. You see, there's something about the Spirit making it work, you know. You can't make it work. If I told you how it came to me, then you might try to try that. But you can't do it like that. 